going guys? It's Root Junkie here and today I have my Moto G 4th Gen. I just got this sucker in the mail this uh, afternoon. When I got him from work I started playing with it. Now this is the Amazon Prime um, ad supported Moto G 4th Gen. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you guys how to get rid of the ads. And it's really, really pretty simple, um, which is just awesome. All right. So I'm going to try to go through it and give you as much information as I can and a whole bunch of good tips along the way. So this is a device I got for $133 with shipping and tax and everything um, by being an Amazon member. It's ad supported. But as you can see, I don't have any ads. So we'll uh, click here. Lock screen. Yeah, see? No ads. And actually, for that matter, I don't even have Amazon on here. I'm going to show you how to completely blow away everything Amazon on the device. Now, you could always go down and reinstall things as you want, but it'll at least get rid of all the ad supported stuff and all the bloat that is on it. So, we're going to remove the Amazon bloatware. Now, something I'm going to show you when you do this, it's going to actually add some other bloat, but it's at least not ads on the device. Basically, you're going to get the stock stuff that comes with it. Um, if you get the stock device, so different different files and stuff like that, um, file managers and so on and so forth. So that being said, first thing I want to do is I just want to show you what device I'm on. Um, so here we go. See right here is the AMZ software channel that shows that it is the Amazon variant. Um, it's been tweaked because I've already messed with it, but I'm going to show you how to do it. This is my build number. Um, I'm not sure how important that stuff is. Probably you want to be on that build number. Um, to make sure it's going to work right, but we'll see how things go. All right, so to do this, first note, first thing I did when I got it is I unlocked my bootloader. Um, I have a video on how to do that if you want to do it. Um, I've not tested it on locked bootloaders. I think it would work just the same on a locked bootloader personally, um, but I don't know. This is also the XT1625, just so you're aware of that. That's the device model. Um, so I'm not sure how much specific things those things matter or not in this process, but hopefully not much and it's more universal, but hard to say. So I have an unlocked bootloader, but like I said, I think it'll work without it. If not, go unlock your bootloader. I mean, once you get a bootloader unlocked, you can do whatever you want with this thing. So we're going to go ahead and use RSD Lite, a Motorola program to flash a file to this device and remove the ads. It's that simple. So, um, first thing you got to do is you got to turn it off. So... We're going to go ahead and power down. And um, to do it, basically what you got to do is you hold volume down and a power from the powered off state. This is going to boot you into bootloader mode or download mode, or I'm sorry, fast boot mode. I call it bootloader or fast boot mode. Um, now, go ahead and you can plug in your cable like so. Now you can see, like I said, I've already unlocked the device, okay? So my device is technically unlocked, bootloader unlocked. I don't think it matters though. I'd love somebody to test and report back if they can do this with a locked bootloader. All right, so from here we gotta download some stuff to the computer. So let's shoot to my computer and uh, get some things downloaded. All right guys, here we are. This is my site, rootjunkiesdl.com. And basically, um, this is right up here. You can see Moto G 4th Gen XT1625. And you're gonna go to right here, this folder, which is the remove Amazon bloat. And it, just go ahead and click on the folder right there. And then you're gonna see a whole bunch of things in here. The main stuff you're gonna need, you're gonna need this zip right here. You're gonna need RSD Lite, latest program. So make sure you have that. And then your Motorola drivers, whether you wanna use the device manager or download the specific drivers, it doesn't matter. So just download all the files you're gonna need and run everything to get everything installed. All right, so if we've done that, uh, I'm gonna come in here. So I've extracted that file, which is right here. And this is what you're going to be using to flash. So here's the uh, removal of bloatware and ads remover right there. And then RSD Lite, once you install it and you launch the program, it should look like this. So it'll become a zip, you'll extract it, you'll run through the install, yada, yada, yada. Also the drivers and so forth. Um, it's not hard to do that, it's just installing a program, so I'm not going to really cover it. Um, so we come in here. You can see we're in fast boot mode down here. And we're connected. So... I like to make this a little bit, actually not that one so much because that one really doesn't matter. Progress is a good one. Actually leave that one open too. And USB we can shrink down. All right, so you can see we're connected. You can see it's the uh, Athen, Fastboot Athen, which is Moto G 4th Gen. And then you're just going to come up here and you're going to browse for this file right here, this XML file. So I got to go find mine. 
Let's see if I can find it. I am in here. Wherever you downloaded it, it might be in downloads. I don't know. I gotta go find mine where mine's at though. Uh, right here and right there. And basically you load the XML file. And from here, it's very, very simple. You just go ahead and hit start. And what it's gonna do is it's going to flash the OEM image, okay? So what Amazon's done when they put these ads on the lock screen and all their Amazon applications all over your screen is they've created an Amazon image and they flashed it to the device. So what I've done is I've taken the stock OEM image from Motorola and we're flashing it back to the device. So it actually did it very, very quickly. Sometimes it's quickly, sometimes it's slow. And you can see it's rebooting. Now I had the reboot um, bootloader screen or the uh, unlock bootloader screen on there. You may not or may have it depending, but just be aware, like I said, that's what I did. You don't necessarily have to. I'd love somebody to report on that and let me know if it does work if you still have a locked bootloader. Um, and that's it. You're basically finished. You can see it passed over here on the computer, so we're done on the computer. And the device booted back up. It may take longer, um, sometimes it does, but that's really simple. It's really just one file we're flashing over. We're actually loading the, the git file, the git bin, and then we're loading the or flashing the OEM image. That's it. And now, like I said, this is what you're left with. Very, very simple. You technically could even flash the system images if you have the stock system images and, and even remove everything, everything if you want. Um, completely stock. Basically, nothing's uh, locked down if you have the unlock bootloader. So there you go, guys. That is the process. We have now removed the ads. Um, I would say if you've done that and you've got rid of the Amazon junk, unlock the bootloader, install Torp Recovery Root. I'll probably do some videos on some of that stuff as well, but I just really quickly wanted to show you guys how to remove the ads very simply. Um, and like I said, if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader on a Motorola device, I'll definitely link you to that video. Uh, it's very simple. Follow the steps, and you can unlock this device as well. So this is an awesome deal, guys. You definitely should check it out. If you want to pick one of these up, I'm going to leave a link, link in the video description down below. It will really help me out if you uh, check that link out and buy one of these if, you, if you're interested. So catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.